All righty, the time has come. Whether you love these competitors or you hate these competitors, this is one of the main reasons why you have tuned in to King of the Table 5, the pinnacle of arm wrestling super match series. This is match number four on your card at King of the Table, and check out this video. My name is Ryan Blue Bowen. I'm from Brisbane, Australia. I am the 100 kilo Australian national champion. Khaled this weekend is in for a shock. He's an amazingly strong human. He's not an arm wrestler. I'm going to give him a technical lesson. Ryan, I have respect for Ryan, but Ryan is going to go back to Australia as he came. Like if this was a fresh versus fresh match, I think it would be a 50-50 match because he is that strong. I respect that. He's a freak. But he doesn't recognize how hard it is to do two back to back. I'm not going to get tired after a match with Schoolboy. I'm not going to get tired facing Ryan. That one I'm 100% sure. I will take Khaled out of position. I have experience across the full range of, of technique and Khaled will not be able to keep up with that. I will simply deny where he wants to go and put him in the deep water that he's not prepared for. I'm trying to be uh, humble, but I am really confident that I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying not to get myself in trouble, but I can't. I can't. I'm super confident I'm going to win this match. For Ryan, he's talking too much, but we're going to settle this on the table. Bones, you're going to go back to Australia just the way you can, bro. You have nothing. You have no chance. Khaled, I completely respect you as an inhumanly strong man. That said, I don't believe you're an arm wrestler. Not yet. I'm going to give you a lesson. I'm going to dad move you in the final round. This is it. This is the match. You've seen the promo. The talking is over. This match is our second grudge match of the night. The man with the killer hand, Khaled Jashel. Khaled Jashel. He already surprised the world. He is ready to get back on our wrestling table. Versus schoolboy, he looked really impressive. Let's see how much energy he has left in the gas tank. This man is meant for arm wrestling. Still calm, collected. He said he will destroy both of the guys and he's on his way. 50% of the job is already done. Khaled is looking as impressive as he can be. I don't think he's even a little bit tired. He looks... He looks a little bit sleepy, to be honest. We'll see him right now. Get back on Armasling table. If he beats Ryan Bowen in this impossible task, Armasling world will riot. 28 years old from Republic of Cameroon, just a beast on a table. And his opponent. As Khaled said, he's going to send him back to Australia. He has come a long way. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Blue Bowen. Ryan Bowen from Australia. He's been on a little bit international tour, getting back to Super Match Armistling on the biggest stage on the planet. East versus West, he did his first, then Arm Wars. Now, King of the Table, no more delusions. He is ready to change the world and perception of Ryan Bowen. I am joined by Aussie Armister, Jake. Hey, your boy is getting ready. How do you feel about his chances? I am genuinely nervous, genuinely nervous. I mean, the stats are there in front of you, 106.4 kilos. He is feeling great, a bicep at 44, but boy, oh boy, how impressive was Carl? It's of course I'm going to be nervous for my man Ryan Bowen, but let's hope he can come out and take his moment. The man gets attacked more than anyone on the internet, the most hated man in arm wrestling. Coach Ray, does Ryan have any chance whatsoever after what you witnessed? Khaled against Schoolboy. <laughs> we will see right now. Hey, Khaled was way more impressive than any of us expected. Ryan will try to be smarter arm wrestler, but how much it, it all comes down, like this is in crazy task. 
Ryan is a world-class arm wrestler, 100% fresh, 100% ready for this task ahead of him. Khalid Jashel just had a super match. Let's see, let's see what Ryan can do. Here we go, it is round one, you dead set legends. Ryan, go playing a bit of mind games there, trying to go Maybe the he felt the lane there. Let's see if he switches it up. He kind of tried a little bit. Yeah, he's going for that top roll. He's going absolutely for top roll. I think he felt something in Khaled that Khaled's getting a little bit more tired. He had a war. Here we go. The thumbs are closed. The grenades are being this is lit. It. Just pull the oh. pin. Ready, bang! Oh. Ryan, wow. Ryan, wow. Ryan, quick, fast, fast, quick, fast, efficient. One nothing. Ryan Bowen puts it on the scoreboard. Is Khaled tired or is Ryan just that much better? Well, Ryan has come in and his pin was pulled first. Look that at that speed. Look at that bang. speed. Boom. Yeah. I don't think Lachlan is faster than that. <laughs> no one is faster than Lachlan. But Ryan had a game plan to open up that bicep. Yes. He knew it was going to be exhausted. And you can see there just in that replay that he executed it properly. Now, is the adrenaline dump come in, Ray? When you're in this situation and you're tired, and you've just pulled a monster in schoolboy and you've got to go again and again and again. If you're Khaled, what are you thinking now? What Khaled lacks in genetics, uh, he doesn't lack in genetics, he lacks in experience. And experience in super much arm wrestling, you need to stay warm, you need to warm up, you need to bring your energy levels down and then be ready to explode. I, I, I still think there's something we might see from Khaled. He might just you know wake up a little bit more he's already he's he got that was a war that was a war first match was a war we didn't expect it to be war it was total war where he won so let's see how much he has left like he's looking a little bit more tired than on the first match but this is an impossible task he, Ryan Bowen does what he said he's going to do. He has done it. I mean, you can see in the background there, most people paid for a full seat, but they are on the edge of it. This is unbelievable. Ryan Blue Bowen. I can't help myself but go the early crow a bit, Coach Ray. You know I get excited. But I think I'm with you. I think Khaled has something. There is a reason he is genetically gifted when it comes to pure strength. And watch for his hand adjustment. Watch where he will go in there. I cannot wait for this stick of dynamite to go off in round two. As you can see him there, this is unbelievable. The mind game start, the fingers uh, moving around. Tim Talmadge trying to take control there. Look at the hand position. Khaled's moving up. That grip strength. Khaled doesn't have hands. He has clubs. <laughs> and he looks like he's got a club. Ryan Bowen in round two. As you can see, Ryan getting the early one, but it is six round. Tim's had enough. It's a ref's grip. What was Khaled trying to explain to us? Like he has... 4XL or 5XL glows is like that's that's insane when he says he's goes he goes clubbing it doesn't mean he's going to the clubs that's right that means he's going to send mm. Ryan back to Australia mm. now the thumbs are closed there goes Ryan Ryan, Ryan focused explosive gets yeah. position we have a battle here Ray we are stuck in the middle of the table Ryan, Ryan still has good pronator control he's he's has Khaled's pronator in control trying to wear it down trying to figure it out he just cannot put himself in a bad position but I feel like Ryan is in control Ryan is in control in this one he's controlling looking at the eyes of Khaled he's darted the eyes at him baiting, Ryan him, is in baiting control, Khaled to come Ray. forward the hits comes are being close, coming now, the close. openings are coming. Can the separation of Khaled's shoulder and elbow, it is making a huge difference. Ryan just leaning on him. I feel Bad like, enough, Khaled's yeah. done six rounds. He wants to tire him out. He wants to ensure he has nothing left. For the next four rounds, Ryan holding on. Will he slide down into a dad move? We are in a ripper of a round two, Coach Ray. Uh, Ryan's looking... Ryan's putting that bleed, putting as much bleed as possible on Khaled, trying everything he can to make him tired. And I think he baited Khaled and Khaled, oh, and he compromised himself. Oh, no. Wow. Well, he gave him a little bit too much, just a little bit too much. And let's see where the endurance factor comes out. 
you like he was trying to bleed out Khaled's back pressure but I feel like if he didn't if he did if he had it after the match with the schoolboy he will still have it in this match I thought I was watch I thought someone had tricked me and changed the channel I thought I was watching an 80s slasher movie with the amount of bleeding that was going on in the middle of the table but yes we know what Ryan does and he does love getting a bit cocky and it almost cost him round number two Ray this is something else now Ryan just needs to stick to the game plan get your second pin get your third pin because when those bear trap of hands clamp down on you you ain't going anywhere and Carlet is just showing he can go he's proving to Ryan that there is endurance there Ray where should Carlet go in this reset up I think Khaled should do what he that like I don't know how much technical prowess he has how much options he has the problem with right now might be that Ryan burned a little bit too much of his own side pressure and back pressure. Let's see with the hit, because I, I think he will try to finish this round now quickly. The setup is good. Here we go. The guns are in he the will holsters. Sit through the side pressure into a top roll. Coach Ray's called it. Tim Talmy's just trying to get the final bang. Yes. There's the hit in the top roll. You called it exactly to a T, Ray. Yeah. And Ryan has Good. teed off from the 18th hole and gone bang. That is elbow foul for Ryan. El Ryan has two oh. elbow fouls. One elbow foul to Khaled. Wow. <laughs> this is. The <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, this has been a night of unexpected from start to finish at the moment. And I can't oh, I believe we still really have good. the main event after this. So two elbow fouls to Ryan Bowen and one to Khaled. So now it is getting back to the middle of the table. Yeah. Ryan's body language has changed a little bit. I understand he's got the intelligence. I understand that he's got the technique, but, but his he, body language I, I feel has changed. Like, I feel like, like Ryan is coming really big right now, 106 kilos. Endurance will suffer. We know Khaled has a lot of endurance. So when you're trying to bleed him, I don't think it kind of worked out. Let's see. There it is. The Let's cannon see. has been shot. Good. Bang. There That's it is. Pin. Unbelievable. Two, nothing. Ryan Bowen. Ryan Bowen has just gone in, shot the cannon off, and he's taken car led with him. Ryan Bowen up 2-0 in an impressive performance. So now the genuine questions start coming in. Where is the endurance that Carled was talking about? Has Ryan got him on a technical palace when he's opening him up as you can see there in the replay really separated him worse than divorced parents the arm went it was something else there ryan is up two nil coach ray i know you are swallowing nails and you have to agree that he's winning but you are calling this match to a t as, well played as, to you as, coach as, ray as much as i hate ryan <laughs> he's doing really well he's doing amazingly he does exactly how he should have been doing in this match uh, he tried to put a bleed on Khaled, but weirdly it didn't work in my opinion because I, I feel like he compromised himself, putting himself in a little bit bad position and we see the consequences. There's still two more rounds to win and there's still still a chance for Khaled Jashel. There, as you can see, there he's getting all the advice. Ryan now, once again, body language has... has has changed. He looks cool, calm, and collective. We're going to go to the round number three. Ryan is back on table. I would say he's pulling all the coach Ray tricks at this point. <laughs> oh, he's, Mate, he's learned it all from you. You've taught him everything there. You're on the I, right I, 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 gave, I gave him my whole book. I gave him my whole book. If your opponent is tired, make sure he knows you're not. So if you're in this position, let me put your Ryan Bowen hat on. Are you going straight for the jugular? Are you going quick pins 3-0 or will you try and bleed him out and make the rest of the match easier for you? Well, for me, endurance is the name of the game. So, of course, I would try to bleed him, get in good positions and not, not die from those positions. It's but with Ryan, he can compromise himself. You still have to respect the power, endurance and the hand of of Khaled. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. I don't think Ryan would be going too early on this one. I think the respect would be second to none, that's for yes. sure. He knows he's in for a battle. Yeah. And he, yeah, yeah. here we go. 
Oh, that hand is going lower. Where's he going? Is he going inside, Ray? Is he going to take it? Will we see a dad move? Turn it out. Not yet. I think he wanted to break him so he could play the move. Stop! Winner! Wow. That was quick. That was That unreal. was quick. Very impressive. Yes. Full control from Ryan Bowen. I think we're going to... The real question is, will Khaled pull? If it's 4-0, will he continue pulling? If he continues pulling, then we will see a dad move. Yeah. Look Absolutely. at him lying on the table there. The sun's out for him. He is feeling magnificent now. He just needs one more, and then he continues his international streak. I mean, the comments will come out, Khaled was tired and things like that, but uh, whether you love him or hate him, you've got to give Ryan props. He's done this on a technical standpoint. We know the strength went to Khaled, but he's certainly taken control of this match so far in the first three rounds. Khaled called him out. Khaled was like, hey, I, I will beat Schoolboy and I'll beat you in the same night. I feel there's rematch written all over it. Coach Ray, you speak my language, young fella. That is right. If Ryan can continue on and do this, then we know that we've got a match set up for King of the Table 6, and that would be a fresh on fresh Ryan versus Carlet. And even just thinking about this match, my mouth is salivating. I know Carlet <laughs> is a strong man. He is a proud man, and he will continue to try and push forward. But he is just like anyone else. Definitely hates losing. And we're in to round four at the moment as Carlet's applying applying mm. ice at the moment. So we've got it 3-0. Referees are just having a look at a little bit of footage before we head back to the table. That's why they're just getting that little bit longer in between rounds. What's Carla's confidence like right now, Ray? What's lower than zero? It's close to that. It's it's not a good position to be in. Like, he, he knows he has the power. He just cannot access it, you know. Fatigue makes cowards of all men, so this is not a good position to be in. But Khaled was bold enough, brave enough to put him in this position. So That's right. You reap what you sow. I love that he's called two people out, and if he pulled it off, he'd be one of the best arm wrestlers in the world. But at the moment, he hasn't. Now, the hand grenades are in the middle. Pull the pins in. Bang! Ryan's going for a hit. Good stop by Khaled as he tries to go in full king's move. That arm is straighter than an arrow, but Four. Ryan gets the pin. 4-0, Coach Ray, 4-0. <laughs> Take that sour blossom out of your mouth, mate, and tell me, were you super impressed with Ryan's effort? I guess I am. <laughs> as much as I hate Ryan, he did amazingly well. Good job, execution of the plan. Try to put a bleed on him. Let's see what happens. Will they pull more? I feel like I feel like Khaled's going to pull more. He's like, no, I think he's done. We'll go to the replay there while the athletes discuss it out. But yeah, just right in there, Ryan turning outside of his hand and just popping those fingers open. It is there. Bang. There's the pin. 4-0 to Four Ryan Bowen. Nil. Ryan Bowen wins I'm, this super I'm match. Respectfully, brother. Amazing man. Amazing. Khaled is awesome. All I can say, Khaled is awesome. Ryan showed up, did his work. It was an impossible task to finish. He tried to do everything he could. In a few seconds, we're going to go back to Jake. Jake's going to have a little Aussie talk with Ryan Bowen. We don't have subtitles, so they will try to speak English. No worries there. Ryan Bowen did what he said he's going to do here. Khaled. Finish 50% of the plan, and I think we're going to go back for a rematch in the very near okay. future. There it is. Uh, four rounds in the bag. 4-0. Khaled has tried to pull double duty. He has done a respectable effort. Can we give Khaled a shout? A round of applause for what he put in tonight. But, of course, we've got to interview the winner. The man had a plan, he has come, and he has executed it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ryan Blue Bowen.
Ryan, you've come in. You've told everyone what was going to happen here at the space. You've come all the way from Australia. You've given up a lot to get here. The game plan was executed. It's 4-0. How are you feeling right now? But man, first of all, I'm just full of respect for Caleb. What he, what he did tonight was nothing short of phenomenal. Had an absolutely blinding match with Schoolboy. That in itself was such an impressive task that he did. So I've got nothing but admiration and respect for the man. When he stepped up here, the endurance that he has in his arm is ridiculous. Round two, I thought, I'm good, I'm good, I got him. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just going to close him down. He's going he's gonna to give up. It's going to be an easy pin. That last inch, he just doesn't stop. He just keeps on going, and next minute he's taking my hand, and I'm having to bail and do all sorts of crazy stuff. But, so I have nothing but a genuine heartfelt respect for the man. Um, super impressed. He is every bit the genetic monster. The potential is there for him to go all the way. I hope that he comes back with more hunger and passion and just wants to dedicate himself to actually the, learning the finer arts, because if that man moves well, Man, he's going to be unstoppable. Uh, I mean, yeah, perfectly said, Ryan. Definitely uh, perfectly said. I mean, we almost had to call security. The way you were getting out of the table round two, you almost ran out the door. You were gone. But, you, but you've come. You've done exactly what you wanted to do. You've won 4-0. What's next for Ryan Bowen? Uh, I just want to let the arm wrestling world tell me what they want next. I've, I've, I'm, I've been in this sport for almost 10 years. I'm dedicated to this sport. I, I'm, I'm a lifetime commitment athlete. I want to be the best I can be. I'm always learning. Uh, part of that is learning to be humble and just learning to, to take the opportunities that come let my arm wrestling do the talking. Uh, so I'd love to see where the arm wrestling world wants me. I would love to face Carl Ed fresh first first though. I would. I've got to, I got to admit it. That's all I wanted to hear, King of the Table 6, because I know everyone will be coming for it. How would Carlet have gone if he got Ryan Bowen fresh on fresh? And that is definitely a match for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ryan Blue Bowen.